The stator is the stationary part of the motor. It's wound around the inside of the motor housing and produces the rotating magnetic field when power is connected to it. Stator windings can be connected in either Y or delta. Many three-phase motors are designed in such a way that they can be connected to two different voltages. Most of these dual voltage motors use nine terminal leads labeled T1 through T9. There's a standard numbering system that can be used to number the stator winding leads. If the motor is Y connected, the numbers can be placed as shown. Note that the numbers are placed in a spiral. The number one is placed at the beginning of one phase winding and two is placed at the beginning of the second phase winding. The number three begins at the start to the third phase winding. Continuing around the spiral, the number four is placed so that it becomes the other end of number one and the number five is placed so it becomes the opposite end of the winding that is labeled two. The process continues until all the leads are numbered. Dual voltage motors with nine leads can also be connected in delta. The numbering sequence is very similar to the Y. Start by placing a one at the beginning of one phase winding. The number two is placed at the beginning of the second phase winding. And the number three is placed at the beginning of the third phase winding. Follow the spiral pattern by placing a number four at the other end of the winding that was labeled one. The number five is placed at the other end of the winding labeled two. Continue to follow the spiral pattern until all the leads are numbered.